For this video, I'm working off of O2 reassembling redthunder.aep. You'll find this in the chapter two folder if you're working off of my source files. What we want to do now is reassemble the character with the puppet pin tool. We separated the character out in Photoshop so we could create separate meshes, but we can't animate with all the limbs out of place. So let's bring everything back together. The first thing I want to do inside the Red Thunder walk cycle composition is click on the Red Thunder separated composition, and then you'll see under effects we have puppet. If you don't see the puppet, you can hit E on the keyboard to bring up the puppet, or you can use U to bring up all of the puppet pins and your meshes, since the puppet pins automatically key and U brings up all keys within that layer. So however you wish to expose the puppet, once you do, we want to take a look at the meshes. And you can see we have mesh one through five. And whenever I click on any of the meshes, they highlight within the composition panel. So to begin, we're going to take the puppet pin tool, command P or control P if you're on Windows. The puppet pin tool allows us to select multiple points at once. So if we click and drag on the left arm, we can select all the pins. And then we can come in, click and drag, and bring the arm back to where it needs to go. And appropriately reattach the arm. The same goes for the back arm. We're just going to grab that, come in, and bring it in like so. Since this will probably be the back arm, I'm just going to bring it forward a little bit compared to the front arm. And as you can see, the ordering is off. The back arm is visible in front of the body, but don't worry, we will be correcting that here momentarily. Let's just zoom back out now and get to the legs. So I'll come down here. Here are the legs. I can click and drag on the left leg, click and drag on a pin and just bring it up like this. Now I can't really see where the top of the leg meets the pelvis, so I'm just going to guess for right now. Once we start to animate, we can make those minor corrections. And we're just going to do the same now for the other leg. Come in and we'll bring this one a little bit forward like we did with the arms and release. So now with your meshes set, what I want to do is come in here to the effects under puppet, locate the meshes, and I want to click once on mesh one we'll see that when we click on this, it highlights the front arm. The one thing to keep in mind is you can rename your meshes as well as reorder them. And whichever mesh is on the bottom is going to be the frontmost mesh in the composition panel. So I'm going to click once on mesh one and hit enter and rename this to f.arm. I'll click on mesh two, which is the back arm, hit enter, b.arm. For the third mesh, which is the front leg, just f.leg, mesh four, b.leg, and then mesh five is the body. Now since we have a reverse order situation going on with how these appear, we want the front arm below everything followed by the front leg. So we're just going to click and drag on the front leg and bring it below the back arm. Next will come the body. And then we want the back leg below back arm. And that should give us the proper order now for the rig. So if we zoom out or just hit the tilde key, clicking on the composition panel and hitting the tilde key to bring the panel into full view, we can see now that the character looks assembled and ready to go. And that's awesome. We just finished the second chapter of this course. In the third chapter, we're going to tackle the entire animation of the walk cycle. And then after that, we'll create a loop and then add the cycle to a scene. So I hope you stick around because there's a lot more ground to cover.